We have right now 60 cases and over 350 exposure sites uh, and a variant of the virus that is quicker uh, and more contagious than we have ever seen before. Uh, the best way to stop this virus uh, is via vaccination. Uh, but as we know, only 2% of our population is fully vaccinated. Um, if we let this thing run its course, uh, it will explode. We've got to run this to ground. Uh, it will explode. We've got to run this to ground because if we don't, people will die. And if that happens, it's our most vulnerable. It's our parents, it's our grandparents, it's Victorians with underlying conditions or, or compromised immunity. got to run this to ground, because if we don't, people will die. It's our parents, it's our grandparents, it's Victorians with underlying conditions or, or compromised immunity. It's those Victorians who will pay the price. those Victorians who will pay the price. In the end, this is about saving lives. It's why on the advice of the Chief of Officer, Professor Sutton, current restrictions remain in place for Melbourne for a further seven days. The current restrictions remain in place for a further seven days. If we let this thing run its course, it will explode. We've got to run this to ground. Because if we don't, people will die. Because if we don't, people will die. And if that happens, it's our most vulnerable. It's our parents, it's our grandparents, it's Victorians with underlying conditions or, or compromised immunity. those Victorians who will pay the price. seven days. It's why on the advice of the Chief of Officer Professor Sutton, the current restrictions remain in place for Melbourne for a further seven days. For a further seven days.
in the end, this is about saving lives.